grade 5 and 6. Welcome to term 2 of your music classes. You've noticed I don't have the violin with me, so we're not going to use our violins during these lessons. We're going to take time to catch up on reading rhythms, being able to understand these notes and be really comfortable with them, because that has kind of suffered a little bit when we focus so much on playing the violin. And also because some of you don't have your own violin, so it'll be complicated. Okay, so work with me. We're going to have to read these rhythms, and we're also going to work on our solfege. So we're going to learn how to sing the notes that we see. So just the way we do sight reading with violin, we're going to do sight singing. Okay? And we're going to use a song that we know uh, so that it's not as hard to follow along. But you will need to learn how to tell G as Do, D as So, and so on. So let's start with reading rhythms. And remind ourselves that we have the whole note, which has four beats, and we read that as Ta, A, A, A. We have the half note, which has two beats. We read that as Ta, A, Ta, A. Those are two half notes. Then we have a quarter note, one beat, Ta. The eighth note, half a beat, T. So two eighth notes would be T, T. And then we have the dotted half note over here, which has three beats, Ta, A, A. And we have this sequence. I don't know if we did this in class yet. I know we started with the grade fours. So let me take you through this. So this is a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note. And they come in different combinations. So you have the dotted quarter note first. Then here you have the eighth note first. So we make it easier by reading it as tum, T. Tum, T. The T is really short. So here it would be T-tum, T-tum, tum, T-tum, T. Okay? So let's try and do it. There are four beats in each measure, starting with a semi-brief whole note over here. So one, two, three, we go. Ta, a, 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 tum, T-tum, T-ta, a, ta, ta. Ti 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 ta a ti tum ti tum ta a a a. You need to follow along with me. Let's try it again. One, two, three, we go. Ta a a a tum ti tum ti ta a ta ta ti 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 ta a ti tum ti tum. Ta, a, a, a. Let's try the second one. We don't have any of these combinations in this line, so it should be easier for you. Let's try it together. Three and go. Ti, 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 ta, 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 a, a, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 a, ta, a, a, ta. One more time and go. Ti 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 ta 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 a a ta ti ti ta 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 a ta a a ta. Good. So we'll keep doing this every week. We'll have a few examples over here to try out. So let's remind ourselves of solfege. We've done the different signs before, so let's do those to help us warm up here. So we have Do, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Then backwards, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. In this song, Do is G. So G will be our Do. It means we'll be starting on G and everything works around G as Do. Okay, so let's work with the note. Do. So let me give you an example of what the whole line sounds like and then we'll work through it step by step. Do, Do, 
So do re do mi re mi fa mi re do do ti la. And we'll stop there for now. So how do I know that D is so and A is re? We look at the scale. So if we line up all the notes here. G, A, B, C, D, and then from Do going down, G going backwards, G, F sharp, E, and D. So G, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. So there's a higher So and the lower So, just as there is the low Do and the high Do, and so forth. So this is just going to need you to take time to draw it out for yourself and internalize it. It's not something that I can explain any further, all right? So think of it as a scale, and when they're all mixed up like this, you're just going to have to have memorized D as so, and A as re, and B as me, and C as far. T is one that can be easily skipped over, so it's good to know that the note that falls directly under Do is T, and to be able to sing that in your mind. So Do, T, Do, T. It has kind of a minor sound, like a dark sound. Do, T, La, T, Do, T, La, So, Do. So you can mix them up. Go back and forth between two notes that are close to each other, and then skip and come back. Alright, so let's try and sing this really slowly. And you'll have the printout of these notes, so you can even move to the second line before we start on that next week. But this week I really want you to focus on being able to sing this comfortably without mixing up the solfege. So let's try one more time. One, two, three, do. Do, so, do, re, do, mi, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, do, ti, la. Okay. That's all we'll do for now. I'll give you time to work through it and get it in your mind because I know that this will be a lot for you to get used to but it will make you an all-rounded musician. So when you go and you join other singers and all you have is notes, you can easily learn a melody without having to have heard the song before. Okay, next week.